Hello guys, uh, welcome to the next episode of Adobe XD Scratch Class. Today we will have a basic and quick look at the XD interface. So this will be our landing page when you open XD. So you, here you can see design, prototype and share as a tagline. And you could see some home learn section. So if you go to the learn section, so you will have some uh, videos from you, uh, Adobe so that you could have a quick uh, starting with XD. So you could access your cloud documents and manage links here. So coming back to our home section, you could see here basic interfaces for mobile. So for mobile, they have provided for iPhone, four iPhone presets and two Google Pixel presets and one iPad Nexus preset. So for the web, we could see the web uh, artboards. So currently they have added uh, you know, social media presets to in the recent update so you could see instagram twitter facebook and youtube results here also you could uh, set custom sizes for your artboard so and you could also see recent events has been uh, displayed here so as mentioned in the previous installation video our plan is from starter point so if you want you could upgrade here so let me go with the web preset so let me click uh, 1920 2018 so our web uh, our artboard has been created and this will be our tool section. You could access all of your tools here and this will be our properties section. So currently the selected elements properties will be displayed here. Currently this artboard is selected. So it is showing this artboard's uh, properties like it's width is 1920, it's height is 1080, it's color is in white color. So you could also see all the properties. It's vertically scrollable. So you could see that here. So here we have the assets section. So assets section in the sense you could also manage all your color resources, image resources, characters, components, etc. You could manage here and this will be your layers section. So all the layers and all the elements you are working here will be displayed here and this will be your plugin section. So I will make a separate video for plugin uh, which is a really useful feature in XD. So let's move on to the tools. So first is our rectangle tool. So using a rectangle tool, we could draw rectangles. So I am a drawing rectangle. So let me draw a rectangle and bring it to the center. So this will be our rectangle tool. I have drawn a rectangle with it. So here you could see the rectangle's properties. So it has 898 pixels wide into 660 pixels height and it's we could also change the opacity of the rectangle here we have many blend modes I, I will, which i will explain in the forthcoming videos so we could also set the rectangles color here and you could also set the border too for the rectangle so i will keep the border size as 10. you could see a border right so you could also set the border here and here you could have the edge properties currently the edge is sharp as you see the edges are very sharp so if you want to uh, want a circular round join you could also have a round join or a cut join you could also have a bevel join this is also called bevel join you could see a bevel here so the border uh, adjustments could be done here and you could also have a drop shadow suppose let me give a drop shadow of 40 you could see a drop shadow right here you could see a shadow has been involved to the rectangle you could also set the shadows here in the rectangle properties tool so next tool is our circle tool so let me click the circle tool and draw a circle tool also it's called as an ellipse tool so you could draw circles and ellipses here so to get a perfect circle so i am going to the ellipse property section so i am giving the width and height the same so that it will come it as a perfect circle so you could get a perfect circle here so the same as the rectangle tool you could also change its color and properties and stuff you could give it a border and giving it to 10 so you could have a border here too so can you see the borders you could give border and same the bevel properties joints properties you have you could give a shadow for it and same properties and stuff as rectangle tool next is polygon tool so i am clicking the polygon tool and drawing so defaultly it gives a three sided polygon which is a triangle or if you want the, some if for a, say a case if you want a seven sided polygon go to the corner code properties in the polygon section properties so give it seven and click enter you will get a seven sided polygon or if you want a five sided polygon give it five and you can see a five sided polygon here 
so and this will be our corner radius so if you want the corners to be somewhat curvy so i am giving it to 10 you could see the corners are a bit curved so you could also set the corner curved properties here you could change the color same as in the previous tools we have seen you could give the border so i am giving the same you could see the border here you could give shadows you could give the um joints so same as the uh, rectangular and the ellipse tool so next is our line tool so with the help of the line tool you could draw lines so can you see i could draw lines here so i am joining the lines here you could draw lines with this and you could also set the line color and i am setting this line to be a size to 10 you could see the line here right so also you could give a shadow to it and increase the height of it and increase the height to 500 so you could see the line's height has been increased so you could also play with the properties of the line here in the properties panel so next rule is a very important rule which i have the separate session for the pen tool so using the pen tool you could draw custom shapes these four tools only you can draw rectangles only you can draw ellipses only you can draw polygons but using this pen tool you can draw custom shapes whatever shape you need you can draw custom shapes with it these are very useful in the design so i am i have drawn a custom shape and giving it a fill color of yellow i am giving it an some kind of yellow so you could see a custom shape here i'm giving it a border the same as the border right here so i'm giving it a border so you could see a custom shape here and same properties as the rectangle and circle tool so next will be our text tool you could uh, use text here so i'm selecting the text tool and dragging a box and uh, for visibility i am keeping the text uh, size as 50 okay 50 i'm keeping and i'm typing bsc are deemed to be university so i have the text here so the text properties i could also change the font so i am changing it to helvetica helvetica you could see the font size change the font changes here you could also increase or decrease the opacity of the text and you could also make it bold medium or you could also set the font properties here i'm setting it to bold you could see the bolded text here i am changing the color of the text to blue okay. blue here you could see the blue color text you could give borders and stuff same you could give a drop shadow which could be seen here you could see a shadow right you could also give a, a shadow for it and same properties as the text so next is the artboard tool. So artboard is this web 1920s to one. This white canvas is an artboard. We have currently one artboard present in it. If you want multiple artboards, you can create multiple artboards here of different size. Whatever size you need, you can have multiple artboards and work on it. Suppose uh, I need a artboard of 500 into 500. So just I am drawing a random uh, artboard and going to the property section and changing it to 500 is to 500 so i am uh, getting a white artboard uh, of a square artboard so i could also change the color of the artboard here and play with the artboard section also you have some presets of the uh, predefined artboards we have uh, presets for mobile tablet web for desktop instagram story or suppose if i want a mobile xs 11 pro if i click this we have a mobile artboard here this is the shape of the mobile you will get the mobile artboard here so next coming to the layers section so we have currently one two three four five six seven eight artboards here you could see the eight artboards here too one two three four five six seven eight you could see the eight artboards here too suppose if you want to access the elements of this artboard this artboard is named as web 1920 so go to the corresponding artboard and you could see all the elements in the that artboard so we have a dse is asked to be university text we have a path is referred to the pen tools uh, element so we have four lines we have a polygon we have an ellipse we have a rectangle so you could move and play with it too so this will be your layer management uh, system and another thing uh, adobe is promise we have to create a new documents we could create it here we can open it from your computer and 
can you see you we can uh, access also the recent documents here and we can also get ui kits from uh, android apple microsoft etc i will explain ui kits in later uh, further videos so we could also have the save options here spell check and we could also export our uh, designs we could which and all artboards we want to exp uh, export specifically we could export it in the artboards export artboards section and you could also export it to after effects and you could uh, work on it so plugin sections i will uh, explain and you also have a help and uh, support section from adobe so that's it for today guys and this is akil uh, associate head of design at dlc's author team to university signing off bye bye